All right. Now, some crazy news. This is crazy, guys. I did not have this in my 2024 bingo card. Future, it's a, there's a Halo update. Did you guys hear about the Halo update? Halo Studios has an Unreal Engine update trailer. So let's start by watching it. Can we watch it on YouTube? Like, unironic YouTube. There it is. We'll watch it on YouTube. All right. It'll be better quality. This is crazy news. Halo came out one day ago and basically said that everything's changing with Halo. Halo is one of the best game series of all time, and it's been stagnant. Stagnant. Halo Infinite was, you know, some people liked it. Some people liked parts of it. I'm one of the biggest Halo fans out there. I thought it was like, you know, some parts of it were okay. The story was a little bit better than, you know, Halo 5 especially, and so on and so forth. But god damn, it was still a disappointment, especially in the multiplayer. Multiplayer was like way too long, too late, and not uh, enough actually like meat in it or anything like that. And it was extremely sad. For me, it was, a, it was an absolute like um, disappointment. But now we get some good news. Chris Matthews, take one, Mark. This is Casey Wu, take one, Mark. I was told yeah. that I can just be my authentic self, Chris. <laughs> For six years. I, I like authentic self. Of a <laughs> There's so much to do and so much fun to be had when you play Halo yep. that I feel like I never run out of things to do. Who grew up on Halo? I grew up in Halo. Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo Reach, and ODST. Some of the best games ever made. I mean, one, two, three uh, is like it, a perfect trilogy. Finish the fight, you know, Halo 3 and all that. But golly, man. Halo Wars. Yeah, Halo Wars is really cool as well. Totally agree. But like, dude, the feeling of Halo. Hearing the music of Halo. Let me put it on the background while we talk. That, that'll be our, th this will be our little soundtrack. <clears throat> there we go. Just let it play in the background. Red team, blue team, yep. Halo spawns so much, man. It changed the game. Without Halo, there would be no Xbox. So how Xbox screwed Halo up is insane. But let's just listen to it. The feeling this song still in in uh, it, it, it fills in all of us, in you, in me, everyone. This song, the emotions, the vibe. The absolute abject class of everything in Halo 1, 2, and 3. These are held to a high standard for a very good reason. And we've seen the downfall of Halo. Halo 5, you know, trash. Halo 4, a little shaky, but still like, you know, somewhat sticking the landing. Uh, and then uh, Halo uh, Halo Infinite, uh, sorry, Halo 6 being like terrible. And then Halo Infinite being like, you know, a little, little wacky, but, you know, doing something's right, something's wrong. But finally, guys, take this feeling, hold on to it, because we have the rare, hopefully positive, Halo News. Let's check it out. I just wanted to give that little diatribe. Man, you never run out of things to do. Dude, Halo 1, 2, and 3, I played... I, so, Halo 2 was one of my first, like, online games, like, that I really played a lot online. And it was, like, easily my best shooter. I was, like, what, maybe 4,000 hours of Halo 2 just online. I played it religiously. I played it till they shut down those servers. I loved Halo 2 with every breath of my being, man. Like, oh, my God. It was, like, the only shooter I was actually good at as well. Like, I, that was, like... That was when I was at my peak in terms of like, you know, actual like ability to play games. Now I have like nerve damage in my hands. So I'm not able to play these games anymore that well. But uh, dude, going back to that feeling, man. Halo is uh, that I feel like I never run out of things to do. That's what Halo used to be like. I love Let's see what they do. stories that take place across lots of different worlds, have lots of different meaningful characters. Yep. What good characters, Halo good successful? writing. At the beginning, what is the... An absolute giga chance. 
Halo was a story about Giga Chats, the Master Chief, the Arbiter, Sergeant Johnson. Like, dude, Sergeant Johnson was so badass, his name is Big Dick. Literally. What is, what is Johnson a euphemism for? Dick, a big one legacy of halo and what's the soul that we want to bring forward and what's the craft of making oh you got to change games. that beats right it's one of the best game series of all time the original three to go deliver and odst and reach we knew we had to make a change in order to take us into the future when i first yep. heard about halo moving on real engine my first thought was wait what halo moving on unreal engine this is great news this means that the team doesn't have to focus on the technical aspects of the engine, as in making a new engine, because they've always done that, the Slipstream engine. And instead, they're just going to go to Unreal Engine 5 and, and just focus on, like, actual gameplay. This could unironically be what we need as Halo fans. This could be really what we need. This is going to be a really hard secret to keep. I think fans are going to be excited about the future of Halo <clears throat> because of the possibilities that are afforded us by using Unreal. Before, we really had to split our focus in thinking about building an engine, supporting it, being really kind of a- You asked a good question. Peace Arena said, so if I was to get Halo in 2024, do I just get the Master Chief Collection or whatever it's called? I think that's the only thing you can get. So yeah, and I think there's a, a mode on it to play the original mode. So Peace Arena, if you're okay with more retro style graphics, because you know, Halo 1 was normal Xbox, right? Like that, that's old. Um, uh, Halo uh, uh, 3, uh, was that original? Halo 2 was also original Xbox. Halo 3, I think, was 360. And uh, Halo Reach was 360. So you could play all four of those, and I think they're original mode. And if you can, do it in the original mode. If there's, like, a way to switch, I'm pretty sure there's a way to switch between the two. Because if you can, like, the remasters, like, change it completely. And not in a good way all the time. I've never done the full analysis of the Halo series, like original and, you know, the remasters, but someday I would like to do that as like a giant video. If you guys would like that, let me know. Take a moment. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I've never done a full retrospective on a series like this. I've done like, you know, diatribes, you know, discussions, and rants and so on of all these games that we know and love, but I've never done a full retrospective. I think Halo being one of my first ones would be iconic and very me for like something I'm passionate about. So if you guys want that, let me know and I'll try to make that happen. Tech company and a studio at the same time. Yeah. Since we've made the change to shift to UE, we can bring this Halo crazy. forward in ways that people have never seen before while still being true to what Halo is. Now, Unreal Engine is not perfect. It's really good. I don't know how faithful they can be graphics wise to you know the vibe of Halo. Like, I don't know if it'll look too modern. That's the term. I don't know. It sounds weird, but like, I want to see some gameplay. I don't know if they can do that. Our talk an effort to show ourselves how far we can push things using Unreal 5. New studio art director, Chris, came to me and said, hey, I have this crazy idea. He said, hey, there's this thing called Project Foundry that I want to do. Let's make it happen. Foundry specifically is based around the same concept of the foundry in Halo lore is the place where Halo rings are born. What does this mean? Th this sounds hype. What does this mean? It looks beautiful. It's not a game. It's a research project for our studio so we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making Halo games. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This 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 looks this looks pretty good. Yeah. This looks pretty good. The I can't help Halo but be excited. Franchise was a graphic showcase. Um, it, was. it was. best in class. That's what Halo was when it first was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. Hold up. When it first was released, Hold and up. that's what Halo needs to be again. This looks good. This, I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a freeze frame. It's a still from a pre-render. Sure. 
but it look this is the vibe this this very much is the proper vibe and the lighting looks insane like oh my god dude unreal engine's lighting is insanely good one of the best aspects of it Shit. a new dawn so once project foundry had been approved we took the entire creative team and we ideated on three locations, something okay. old, something new, and something really alien. Okay. We had the Pacific Northwest, which is sort of traditional halo biome. We were trying to shove as much foliage in there as humanly possible to make it and really they feel can. like you're on a hike in the you know, Cascades. Yeah. The Cold Lands, which was the second biome that we took on, it was more of a technical showcase okay. where we could play with shaders, we could play with deformable Whoa. landscapes and terrains. Unreal affords us more opportunity than we've ever had in the past. You know, on the surface, it might just look all like snow, but how many layers of things yep. combined. This is why a lot of old games did not have snow levels. And when it did, it had like, you know, just a straight palette. It wasn't just like a, you know, didn't have the layers, it didn't have the crunchiness, it didn't have like the, the undulations or anything like that. Snow drifts, things like that. You didn't really see those in games because snow adds a lot of detail that you need to add extra into the game. And also snow itself, like not even just snow on the ground. The to really snow. give that winter look. And then our third biome was the Blightlands, which is any land that's been completely flood. taken over by the flood. Yep. I wanted to give our team the opportunity to really express I'm an down alien Artosh. world, a really alien world, taking something way further yeah. than they may have actually done in previous Halo games. Yeah. What's impressed me about watching the Halo team work in Unreal is how beautiful everything looks, how yeah. incredible this the looks environments look. Amazing. I don't think we've seen anything quite like it in Unreal Engine before. Fortunately, we have a studio that's really passionate about Halo, about the look and the feel. And, you know, I think there's a lot of hunger to really collaborate, to move forward together. Foundry was an initiative that touched on every part of the creative process. Everything from concept art, yep. VFX, characters, vehicles, and weapons to make the- I'll respond to this. Uh, Pete Serino uh, brought up a point. Uh, yes, the thing though with Unreal Engine 5 is that they all run like crap. Not true. Only the games that don't have the love put into them, Pizzerino. Silent Hill 2, we just looked at the reviews, 96% positive on Steam, which is insanely high for 5,000 reviews. It's not like it's 10 reviews. It's not like it's a weighted score by only early access people. It is 5,000 reviews. 96% positive means the game is not broken. It does not run badly. That's Unreal Engine 5. Um, uh, Black Myth Wukong, Unreal Engine 5 as well. Now, you know, PC, it's running well. Like, you know, PlayStation has its issues or whatever, but that's PlayStation. They can suck my dick. Uh, but yeah, actually, like, uh, with, with PC, Unreal Engine 5, Black Myth Wukong runs insanely well. So it's really like the effort that you put into making the game is what determines whether the game will run well or not on Unreal Engine 5, in my opinion. The games that run poorly are the ones that, you know, they had developmental problems, you know, the team wasn't in it uh, fully, they had, you know, uh, uh, problems with monetization, the publisher rushed it out. Those types of things a lot of times fuck up Unreal Engine 5 games really badly, for sure. But And, and it's happened quite often, which is sad. And it's kind of because any Tom, Dick, and Harry can make an Unreal Engine 5 game. So you'll have a lot of shadier developers and players, uh, people that are like not experienced, which is fine. I don't mind that. But also like the ones that are like shitty publishers or whatever, they'll try to make an, a game in Unreal Engine 5. It'll, it'll, it'll cost them less and it'll be less development time. And so they'll feel they can rush it. But yeah, and, and it applies to all games. So you're right. Exactly, exactly. But like Unreal Engine 5, it's just by virtue of the fact that it's so accessible it makes it easier for worse companies to also try to use, if that makes sense. That's why, like, the day before is made in Unreal Engine 5, because they could just use it as an asset flip. And so games that do that, those will be the shitty games. And you can easily make one of those. But when, you know, a game's made with love, with the actual care, the Silent Hill 2 remakes, the uh, Black Myth Wukongs and stuff, then you see Unreal Engine 5 and it's like, the hype is quality like the absolute best framework uh and and so on i was just curious uh development uh fault the, yeah exactly it's 100 percent the devs fault exactly exactly issues with unreal engine 5 when it already exists in games it ported yeah it's it's because you don't want to port it you have to like like i said 
when they a lot of people use Unreal Engine 5 because they, they think it's going to be simple. But when you bring it in and then you put love into the development and just don't do a straight port, you have to actually put effort into it. That's what determines whether the Unreal Engine 5 will be game will be good or not. And Thaikata, welcome. They've joined the giveaway. How are you doing tonight? We're covering some gaming news before we end the stream. Lots of discussions tonight. Lots of gaming. Lots of Diablo 4. A little bit of everything. Welcome. Future games of Halo. Yeah. Creating an asset, taking this design. Mm -hmm. Now we can really dig into material foundations. What is it actually made of? How is it physically active? I love this. This is great, but I hope they take this opportunity um, because they're basically also what's going on. It's not very clear, but the entire company is rebranding from 343 Industries, which has had just, you know, horrific issues to just being called the Halo Studio. They're not going to focus on other extraneous shit. It's just Halo all the time where they're going to fucking bang it out, make multiple games, and they're just like going to go back to quality. It's, I think, what they're trying to imply. But the real issue as well is, are they going to fire their fucking narrative team? Because 343's narrative team is one of the biggest issues of 343. <laughs> like, are they actually firing members, the shitty parts of their team, and bringing on good fucking people? And going to, like, give them time and, like, you know, the real wherewithal to really fucking bang out some great Halo games. That's what will really make or break Halo. Halo has always been about the gameplay, sure, but it's also been about the story. It's been about the narrative. It's been about the interplay between the narrative and the gameplay and like how it really, really works in it. And it's just a really, truly special format. Ready or not, yeah, exactly. Yep, yep, it completely broke the game. Yep, exactly, exactly. Then they've like been fixing it and so on. But yeah, just pointing it over and not having it do well is like bad. Like you look at um, Ashes of Creation. Ashes of Creation, I think, was Unreal 4 or Unreal 3. And they ported it over to Unreal 5. But they did it in, like, such a caring way that they've actually improved every single aspect of it. And we've not played it, but we have seen gameplay of uh, of Ashes of Creation constantly. And that's an MMO. And they've showed, like, you know, hundreds of characters on the map at the same time. And there's, like, no slowdown or anything. The gameplay looks good. It's because it's made with so much effort and love in every single minute detail. That's what counts for a game like that. That's like, you know, brought in from another engine, even an earlier Unreal, to Unreal 5. You're absolutely right. Accurate, um, to the world. Now we get to take all the, the wonderful legacy assets that we have, yeah. bring them to life, and bring them to uh, today's standards. If they focus on gameplay and they focus on the narrative, this could be truly something special. We are really excited to be not just working on multiple projects, but also expanding our studio. As a lifelong okay. Halo player, I think the game's only going to get better when we get those new, unique perspectives and people bring in their expertise and uh, passion for the Halo. Well, I can tell you one thing. 343 has been broken for over a decade. They've made dog shit for over a decade. I I I'll just say it how it is. So, honestly, you know, new perspectives might make some Halo fans worried. I think we can't get worse. Like, we haven't had a proper, really, truly, like, Halo Infinite was okay. We haven't had a good Halo game since Halo 4. And, it, and Halo 4 was, like, okay. It was, it was, it was good. It, was, it wasn't great. We haven't had a truly great Halo game since Reach. And that was the last one Bungie was involved in. So, and I think they did parts of Halo 4. So that's, I think, why Halo 4 had some measure of quality to it. But yeah, Halo 5 was like the first 343 only game. And uh, yeah, getting new perspectives. Look, I'm willing to take that risk. We've already had bowls of shit. Maybe we could finally get a bowl of chocolate. Halo franchise. We are looking for new talent as the projects that we're working on kind of get further and further into their development cycles. And it is great to be part of a team that's growing because you can kind of see that that force multiplied as people come in and take on challenges and you can do more. I hope so. Imagine a place where you have the commitment that this is what we want to do, Halo yep. games. Just Halo. And create those experiences. And you can express your talent, your yep. creativity, and your professional ambitions in that place. We're looking for designers, we're looking for artists, we're looking for engineers. It feels like a new beginning for, for the studio in a lot of ways, and I think that's pretty rare. And I think we arrived now at a point where you see the beginnings of people 
to start to believe in the process. This There's is so only good news, that we have right now, in my opinion. Focus and clarity on not just what we're building, but why we're building and kind of this next phase of Halo. The worlds that we're building, the stories that we're going after. The potential. This is not even the original Halo music, right but it's still pretty good. It's huge. Halo Infinite was the last remnants of how we made Halo games in the past. That was our recipe. And what we are doing right now, we're changing the recipe. Oh, man. Please, for the love of God, don't suck. And, and like, here, here's the way I see it. You know, like I'm saying, uh, like I said, people think that, you know, it's worrying to do something new. But guys, we could have had a double down on the shit. We could have had double down on, like, all of the crap we've had from, uh, you know, Halo 5, Halo 6, and so on. Uh, and, and instead, we're having a revamp. You know, they, basically, like, Slip Space Engine was not a cheap engine. Hundreds of millions were spent on it, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, you know, they had, like, a 10-year a plan for Halo Infinite. They made a big deal about that. And they're not sticking with it. You have zero hopes for this? Yeah, but Sion, here, here's my point. So they could have stuck with it, right? But no, they're changing the leadership of 343. They're changing the engine fully. They're changing the name. They're changing the focus. They're changing everything. Like, this is a full, like, 180 reversal. Will it be good? Who knows? But frankly, Sion, it can't get fucking worse. That's what I think. A new dawn. 0.5 hope for it. Hey, look, I will cover the news. Good, bad, or ugly, Sion. All I want is a good fucking Halo game. If the good, if the, if, you know, this change leads to a good fucking Halo game, and I'm able, able to cover, like, how it's a good fucking Halo game from beginning, middle, and end, I will absolutely happily cover it. If they're fucking up, Sion, and if they're messing things up, the leadership is still trash. Remnants of 343 are there just poisoning the well, so to speak, which happens a lot. Uh, a lot of times when, you know, game companies rebrand or something, sometimes the, the shit that was the issue in the previous company still is there. And it's not, it's just like, you know, a fucking, the, you know, a coat of paint on a fucking pig, you know, that, that kind of stuff. If that happens, I will cover that too. I, I'm always authentic. And I will be relentlessly authentic when it comes to Halo. Because like I said, this is one of my favorite game series of all time. And I've seen it fall into fucking disarray and an absolute degeneracy. I am so excited for it to come back. And, and I will give it the authentic take. Because I think like one thing that will happen, Sion... And, and mark my words, for anyone who's a Halo fan in the future, whether you've been a huge Halo fan, whether you're a new Halo fan, whether you just like the world and you want a cool fucking sci-fi game, you don't even really know what Halo is, with your brand new or old and established, one thing that really is the proof of the pudding when it comes to video game development is how a game company responds to adversity and how they respond to um you know criticism when it's constructive case in point silent hill 2 remake silent hill 2 remakes early beta and early access you know some content creators got involved so on and so forth and they they were like you know the game is not there yet it looks decent there's parts of it that are good but it's not there and they gave like really harsh but true and real feedback and a team like bloober team which has made trash before so they, they didn't have the best track record with the medium and so on. They took all of that feedback, took it to heart, and now it's a 96% positive, overwhelmingly positive banger on Steam. So that is how good feedback is, is, is used. Same with Larian Studios. Larian Studios had uh, Baldur's Gate 3 in early access for like three fucking years. And they utilized every single ounce of that early access feedback to make the greatest game of all time. Elden Ring, same thing. They took the feedback from Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, and they just built upon it, built upon it, built upon it, built upon it, and created one of the best games of all time. 
So how a game company treats feedback, in my opinion, especially when they're like trying to do a revamp or rebrand or whatever, uh, this type of thing is, is going to be the true litmus test for me, Sion. And I'll cover that. I will cover that. Are they handling feedback well? Are they discussing things? Are they having more open style development where they're talking about the good, bad, and ugly of what's going on? And, and are they learning? Are they changing? Are they fixing things? Are they, are they changing their narrative team? Are they taking the previous people who made the bad narratives of Halo 5, Halo 6, and just fucking throwing them on the street? Get, get the fuck out of here. You made, you made the dog shit Halo 6? Get the fuck out of here. You made Halo 5? What the fuck were you thinking? Go in the fucking trash can. They do that? W. If they don't do that? That's a sign of an L. So, <laughs> that's, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. But we're going to be relentless on this. I do like that is Halo Studios. They want nothing more, hopefully, than to just make a good fucking Halo game. That's what this shows me. A commitment. Not Halo plus Destiny, like, you know, uh, Bungie was doing near the end and so on and so forth. They're just doing Halo. And that's it. Is there anything else? Yeah, that's it. It was just the video. And I looked up the actual video. Um... Yeah, we'll see what it, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. Is there anything else? Huge shift. Yep. Um, respectfully, some of the components of Slip Space was almost twenty five years old. The art director said as an interview with Xbox Wire. Although three four three is developing it continuous, continuously, <clears throat> there are aspects of Unreal that Epic has been developing for some time, which are unavailable to us. And they wanted to use it, so they just ported it over. An early 2023 report suggested that, and I read this, we never discussed that, I wasn't doing YouTube back then, but um, Halo developers were ready to hit the reset button on the series after a shakeup within the studio. And this shakeup was like a bunch of layoffs. Like this is like like a mass fucking like just shredding of, of Microsoft and Xbox studios. Uh, and, and one of the studios hit was 343. That wasn't a bad thing, actually. That was like one of the times I was very happy that they were like getting rid of the trash. One of the times, like, guys, if a good developer is getting shredded after releasing a good game, that sucks. And I will always cover that very openly. But if a dog shit developer is getting shredded after like absolutely destroying a game and like making an absolute trash tier fucking game, like, you know, a Concord or something like that, people may accuse me of dancing on the grave of a bad game company when they die. And I will tell you, you are right. I am dancing on the grave of the dead game company for releasing a piece of shit game. If the developers have to get lost in the process and they made the dog shit game, I'm sorry, it was a bad game. They don't even fucking belong in the industry. Harsh, maybe. Truthful, absolutely. fucking -lutely. All I want is a good fucking game. All I want is a good fucking game. So when I was telling you that the uh, top brass, by the way, Sion left, uh, newly rebranded Halo Studios for its part is seeking to forge ahead in the leadership of Pierre Hintz and uh, Elizabeth Van Wyck, with the studio now working under mul on multiple new games. The three stepped into top roles at the uh, studio uh, in the wake of the G original GM, Bonnie Ross, leaving in 2022. So she was responsible for Halo 4, Halo 5, and Infinite, by the way. And uh, series veteran Joseph Staten leaving in 2023. Now, Staten was considered a very good part, but we don't really know of uh, of 343. Uh, but, you know, that he was still part of the trash. So if he's out, maybe that's still a positive news. Getting rid, rid of leadership is a first step. Yeah, it's a huge step, actually. Because a lot of times, uh, you know, a game company will get rid of like, you know, middle management, you know, some developers here and there, parts of the development team, and it'll keep the executives that made the bad decisions in the first place. That's not enough. A lot of times getting rid of leadership is a true change. We had a disproportionate focus on trying to create the conditions to be successful in servicing Halo Infinite. But switching to Unreal allows to put all the focus on making multiple new experiences at the highest quality possible. I think what he's saying is that, like I said, because we don't have to focus on making the fucking hundred million, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, of um, investment into a game engine, and we can just focus on the other more important to the game instead. I think that's what they're trying to say there. I hope so. 
I hope so. 343 was cursed. Yep. Last engine took years to develop. Absolutely. The game itself is great. I would hesitate to say great. I, I would say it's it's marginal. It's mid. Which is better than trash. Halo 6 was trash. Halo Infinite being mid was an improvement. Uh, but still not great. And then it should have taken a constant stream of content or reality. Going to UE5 gives support from other studios. Namely the Coalition. Which became a force in the UE5 community. It should... Uh, I don't really know about that. But that could be... yeah. Uh, it should make the next Halo game a smoother process. I hope so. Yeah. And I'm just glad they're focused on new games instead of overpriced remasters. One of the biggest things was uh, the Master Chief Collection was a giant remaster. It took a lot of millions of dollars of, uh, of development stuff. And uh, honestly, kind of was like a step backwards in terms of game design. Like the if you play original Combat Evolved and you play the Halo remaster version, there's so much changed in a bad way in between the two. It's actually astounding. Uh, so, yeah, I agree with that. A proper remaster, like, you know, just a graphical remaster of the actual, like, you know, same exact gameplay from original Halo would be so good. Would be so good. I thought Halo Infinite was great. I thought it was better. I don't think it was great. Um... I, I don't know, I'm worried about UE5. Engine looks good. As a person who works with the engine and plays games, it's not the end-all be-all. It has drawbacks. Everyone has drawbacks. Absolutely. But I think this has possibility. It has possibility. The latest entry turned a buy-to-play franchise into a free-to-play one. Still had to buy the campaign, just the multiplayer didn't come with it. Exactly. Which was dog shit. It was absolutely dog shit. More unique game modes. You want more uh, features, progression. Yup. These are the things necessary for the multiplayer aspect. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, 343 has not made a good Halo game yet. I'll agree with this. The, the closest thing to a good Halo game was Halo 4. And that was like half made by Bungie anyways. They're changing everything though. I don't know. I, I, I think this is, uh, you know, a risky process. But I'm willing to see it through. Let's see what people think. Halo News Today is all net positives. Halo Studios rebrand distanced themselves from the tainted 343 Studios name. That's true. UE5 allows them to focus purely on game dev and not tech engine dev. True. UE5 is more universally understood. And the C art style shown. Yeah, the, the art style shown in the video was very good. I was a little worried about it until I saw the art style and I was like, okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It won nothing. What? What is this saying? What? That she has a rainbow flag? Oh my god, she has a rainbow flag for doomed. Fuck off, dude. Woke is the most overused term in fucking gaming now. I don't judge her for having a rainbow flag. Her words in the video were passionate and focused on the right thing. Okay? Let's, let's just deal with this right here. If she starts to make bad moves getting rid of good people, putting in bad people, then we can have a conversation about it. But if she actually does good, I'm willing to see it through. I don't care what her fucking hair color is. I don't care what her flag is on here. I just want a good fucking game. Let's judge Melissa Boone, who is now the chief of staff for 343 and, and you know, now Halo, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Halo Studios. Let's judge her on what happens. That's what I want. I I, th I think like we need to be open and honest about whatever happens, good or bad or ugly. That's what we need. And that's what we need. What if you get this for Katana? <laughs> that's not gonna. That, th there's no way that happens. There's no way that happens. I applied recently, dude. People are even. People are so hyped. They're actually applying. The change leadership, it is changed. Okay, let's be real. Let's be real. Con Concord Cortana, yeah, exactly, exactly. I still have no reason to trust them. Look, I'll, I'll write this out and type this out at the same time. Or I'll, I'll speak this out. The point is not to trust them. The point is to take everything as it comes with sheer authenticity 
They are asking for a new start, showing change. Let's see every aspect of that change and be relentlessly uh, 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 effusive with our response. With our authentic response. I think that's pretty good. I think that sums up exactly what I'm thinking. I spelled relentlessly wrong. What do you guys think? Chief of staff is far step away from creative narrative director. Exactly. Fucking good point, Sion. Fucking amazing point. Chief of staff is a far step away from creative or narrative director. Exactly. There you go. Completely agree. Dave Ford Devs. Yeah, I've not covered that yet. I won't be able to cover that right now. But yeah, I did hear about that. I did hear about that. Wait, should I cover it? Hold on. Ardosh, could you PM it that to me? I did hear about this. I'm going to make a quote reach you to this. Uh, wait, where was the actual post? Uh, yeah, this one. RE Halo Studios. There we go. No one's asking for trust. The thing is, they didn't say, hey, we're new. We're going to be perfect. Trust us. We're going to fix this shit. No, they just said, we're working on it new. We're going to be showing the development process to you. That's what we're doing right now in this video. And we hope it gets better. And, and we're, we're going to do our best to create the halo that we're, we were meant to create, that you guys want. That's what they're saying. And they're not asking for blind trust. If they were asking for blind trust, I would be the first ringing the fucking alarm bells. But thankfully, they're not doing that. They're not doing that. Let's see what anyone else thinks. <laughs> this is a good meme, but I don't think that's true. <clears throat> wow, dude. Yeah, I mean, the graphics do look wow. There's no way they aren't remaking Halo Combat Evolved. I hope they do. I actually really, really hope they do. And I hope they, you, you know, if they do remake Combat Evolved and the game is not relentlessly authentic to the original spirit and the feel of the original game, as in doesn't make the missteps the Halo remaster for Master Chief Collection did, that will be a huge litmus. If that's the first game that comes out, that'll tell us if this change is real or not. Boldly enough, I will say that. It'll tell us if the games are going to be good or not. Now they're now they're just fucking like you know yelling at the rainbow flag. This is a same. This, I covered this guy. This is that. This is that fucking guy that calls everything woke. Fucking asshole. He's a shit eater, man. He's an absolute grifter. Smash JT. Smash my fucking asshole, you asshole. Fucking. I hate people like that, dude. I hate people. This, this is another one of these guys. Another dude. Why is it always these same? fucking grifters every fucking time the anti-woke grifters are almost as bad as the 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 fully like you know hypocritical psychotic you know ranting raving wants to like cancel everything fuckers they're the same they're two sides of the same coin i hate those people dude i genuinely do and you know like normal people are excited normal people are pointing out microsoft sacked the leadership they have three huge rounds of layoffs they completely abandoned their dog shit engine. They're working on UE5. What else do you want them to do? Exactly. I completely agree with this guy. I completely agree with this guy. We've had nothing but trash for the past decade. And I think this is going to be a positive. That's what I have to say about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I, I want you guys to, to know... Uh, I'm one of the biggest Halo fans literally alive. Uh, like I said, fucking like 4,000, 5,000 hours in, in uh, uh, Halo 2. I played all three, uh, 1, 2, and 3, and Reach uh, completely religiously. And I, I didn't even really like ODST because I thought that was a departure. But I think ODST had its moments as well, uh, uh, for sure. I, 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 I relentlessly love the series, and, and I've been super disappointed with uh, you know parts of 4, all of 5, all of 6. 
and a good chunk of infinite as well. So um, I want to change. And, and I think this is, a, this is, I'm hoping for a good one. What do you guys think it'll be? Good, bad, or ugly? Let me know in the comments what you think below. And please, if you guys are worried about Halo's future, please say something a little bit more detailed than, oh, the, 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 uh, the, the lady is woke. I don't want to hear that shit, okay? Judge someone on their actions, please, for the love of fucking God, okay? Also remember, she's not the narrative director. She's not the creative director. If she was, then we could worry a little bit. But she's not. So let's let's take this with some actual real fucking feedback. Let me know in the comments below. I will cover it all. I'll respond to every single combat, uh, comment. And I will discuss the next video with you guys soon. Looking at hopefully some more good news about this. We'll see how it goes.